person. What am I doing? You ask. Cutting a volcano in half? Well, technically, yes, I am cutting a volcano in half. But I'm also going to show you the parts of a volcano while I have turned it upside down and it's quite a good help. So I'm just cutting it off. One piece a little bigger, so it'll be a little easier. Okay, so now yeah, I will add this play out. Have you, you, you want to, you watched. That is a fun experiment. Now, don't we? So we'll just make a because we don't want to make that. We'll use some cotton to make the explosion, then we we'll label them up. Ash cloud will be made then. You should all so learn in this video the parts of a volcano. Now, using any of your fingers, make the moon wet. First, make the moon. Now, this is the magma chamber. Okay, a little bigger. Now, we need to make the main vent, which is quite easy to make. And up comes the main vent. Yes, I made a half a quick. We don't need full quick, a full character because the other half is right here. Half of it is. And then we the side vent, which has the but not that wide. Make a pocket like this. We also need these finest Vilrajan wax candles. We shall melt them and use crayons to color them. With excess, you can also make new color color candles. These are white, so they're easy. And by the way, remember that all of the vents, the magma chamber, all have to be outlined with more clay or play doh, whatever. So this can be made out of play doh or anything you have. Just now, this is the main vent this is the magma chamber this is the side vent and this is a vent which has failed to be become a side vent this is a crater the crater is where all the lava spews out in for disasters now just how to make a hot water spring or a geyser seize a geyser now now that's a simple way but don't make fun of it just say it in your head when you need to just put a small amount of play dough or clay, as I said earlier. Take some mold and put it like this. <laughs> we can take this out easily. And right here we have a good hot water spray. Now right here I made quite, kind of like a well. We just need to make the few metal stick a piece of clay or dough as I said. I'm getting a little shape of seeing this. Put it here. And if you have forgotten the metal that I used to make this geyser. So we need a little clay. About half what I got right earlier. Put it right here. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Now, more shallow than we need some two holes more shallow than these small like this and voila now we just use our knife to take this out the same method we used earlier and make another one right here mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. oh yes and right here I'll do it a little bit deeper it's not a good hole right here, and like that one. So, yeah, put it a little deeper. I am melting red, orange, and yellow crayons. Be very careful while oh, melting wax. Remember, this can scare you. And remember, don't use oil pastels because they have a way different origin. And if you want to make anything with candles, never use just crayons because they are bad for doing all of those candle stuff. Now, we need to put one spoonful at a time right in here 
in the magma chamber first. And why I ate that. Now, for the main vent side the vent. I'd rather do the magma chamber first. Remember, it's super duper hot and it can dry very fast. So you better work quickly. You can wipe off, I mean, peel off these extras, like, I mean, these red things which have fallen outside. Just mistakes and nobody. Everyone makes mistakes. Now, I have to wait for it to set and remember. Using clay or play doh whatever it is, block it. And if you, your mother says no to this, you can just make a simple one with just using paper. If you're ambitious but don't want to upset your mother, or you can just make it on paper. Now this is what you're looking at, and this is what you're looking at, but this is what I'm looking at. This, because this is my explosion son. I did something really, really bad for my YouTube vlog. Now to dip it in, I'm doing something very dangerous. Very dangerous. But I am an expert. Now take this punch and put, let me do some galleria art. You can see my loop thing, which I am trying to do, which I am melting. Filling up the fumaroles, finally picking up a little pink. Changed a little, but it'll do. Very, very nice. For cleaning up a bit. Remember, clay with this kind of wax is you can think it's gone and you can also throw it. But thankfully, it'll only be here, so I uh, only have to do the small pieces. I can throw all of this, but I can take these and a little later, I can take these. This I have the most, so you know. Remelt the wax and yours and use it again and again and again. Ah, uh, yeah, I'll try and do it with the eyes looking somewhere else. I hope it's looking like a pocket. Tell me any facts I don't know about a volcano in, in your own mind. You could have either read it when you were small or something else. But now, now, don't tell me anything about Mount Vesuvius. Anything. I'll also tell you how it turned people into stone. So much ash, rock, dust. And believe me, there's somewhere where the nearest volcano is not in our country. So it's safe for us. And that was the city of Pompeii I was talking about. So much ash, dust, cloud, clouds of dust that they settle all over the people and turn them and technically turn them into stone. You can, you can also see the remains in there. Now.
now that the city of Pompeii has been excavated, discovered, and now the whole Pompeii city is a museum. Technically, it turned people into stone because it preserved the whole city, which gives it scientists a great clue of what olden Rome looked like. Now carefully, we don't want any spilling. Now that, my friends, is a hot water geyser. So here's the water. But using a knife, as always, we take the excess off. Now, I'll tell you, if you made candles, not even stage one would have dried nicely, but thanks to the clay being so poor. It doesn't. It sets very fast, as you can see. Now, we have made a nice volcano, which we will now, for a nice club, which we will make. First, let's clean up. Otherwise, your mother and father will give you a nice 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 scolding and, and no more permission for eating and doing all whatever i show you so i'd lose a viewer and subscriber and comment giver as well so it'll be bad for you and me so you don't want it nice color some cotton a straw always need a straw you always need a straw now press this straw now this is the ash cloud with rocks with gas steam volcanic ash but i'm just putting these rocks i don't know what destroy the cotton i can use later so this guys is uh, the ash cloud also has rocks <laughs> dust ash poisonous gases and steam and more this is the same ash that settled on pompeii and well cover the city but i'm not talking about that ash but i'm talking about this not real ash how does a volcano explode? Well, in here there's a magma chamber where magma is. When it comes out outside the earth, it is called lava. Lava can destroy houses, burn trees, and many other things. It also goes through a side vent. So, this volcano is not always dangerous. When the ash cools down later, it makes very, 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 very fertile soil. So this is the crater from where lava, magma, all comes. It all comes. And look, it's, it's a nice post, don't you think? And right here we have a geyser. A geyser, whatever you call it. Or it's also called a hot water spring. So here we have fumaroles. Here no lava comes out. This is supposed to be pink, which it is. What did I say? Only steam and hot gases come out from here. If you cut a volcano in half, you will probably get this, but not exactly like this because you don't know. You don't want to cut it. So here is a volcano. Simple struts. Make a volcano, full volcano, cut it in half. One half can be bigger than the other. Choose the bigger half, then put, then make a vent, the side vent, the main vent, the vent which failed to be a vent. No need to make that. But now, then, easy, make the fumarole, the geyser, the then melt wax and ask the mother to put it in but i put it in put everything in make different colors then make this toilet paper roll thing now it looks like hot car if you're lucky it looks like it's stopped with a freeze break when it's exploded now get some cotton a straw then put some beads with 